What the heck? What is this? T take it off. I said take it off. Ah! Open, damn it! What the hell? Huh? I thought we had died. Huh? A bomb on our collars exploded. Uh, maybe it was some kind of bad dream. Dream? I hope that's what it was. Let us out! Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but maybe the door opens with it. I... I really wasn't going to push it, though. <sighs> Kids are a pain. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push? Hey, Mira! Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> don't scare me like that. But we really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 18.08. It must have been around 13.30 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> was it good? I was just about to say the same thing. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, my face has got to be all red. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds. Though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. I always mustered up my best smile for customers. Even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting sick of it though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow. As if there was a hole in my heart. I had thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. My god, the feelings that hit me! I'd never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized... This... This had to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? The details aren't important. You look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me an angel? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. But it's true. You really are an angel to me, Mira. Now, Eric. Huh? Well, earlier you were being. Your face. 
this is pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you? You're an odd duck. <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you've calmed down, huh? Dopey? <laughs> Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely smile no matter what. I wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the DCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Don't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Huh, that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose. To observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. By adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. What is it? A piranha. A piranha? But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. Fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh-huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. Uh, I see. So, for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? Kidding! <laughs> Eric, don't... Say scary things like that. Oh, so maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in DCOM becomes boring, so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency. A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Explaining what would happen if you were under 
Oh, we gotta hurry or we'll die! Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> well, where did the nice Eric go? Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! Wh why, Eric? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> Mira! <laughs> At least he's quiet now. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Wh what? Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? <laughs> what? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? Then... We'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not.